last time we were went pretty well died lines like once or something like that uh, somebody has left the upgrade here because I have like Sharp global rise in terrorism. Okay. Interesting. So what's this? I'm not really fan of these two because I'm I'm trying to like be non-violent, but this revolver I have been upgrading. Just the sake of having something against bosses because this game doesn't really penalize you for actually killing boss 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 fights. That's that's a bit bummer. Sorry. Eliza Kazan. Very popular news hacker. Which which is which is kind of realistic because Celebrities make a make a pretty good news are anchors. Of course, they they are going to the fake news. That's going to be a problem. Human AI. You know, current AIs. I have a like AI pictures as as a loyalty rewards on this channel. Uh, oh, interesting. Species. Anyway, uh, the AIs are are not really like uh, general these days. They are just smart programs that can learn, but teaching them is wor wor world of hurt, basically. So you need to help the AI sit on the potty. So that's why basically every uh, sl slightly smart program is called AI in these days. And that's kind of misnomer, but we don't have really, really yet uh, words to describe different kind, kind of AI. But even, even, when was this game published? 20, uh, 2010 or so. AIs were still still uh, largely ex experimental concept, or programs were rather limited still. So it's Jensen. Something's not right. Pike is, is a 24-hour global news network. Why isn't anyone answering their phones? I'll get back to you on that. Okay, there's no nobody working here. Hmm. Check the emergency activation logs, Pritchard. I've got a sealed fire door here, and I suspect it's not supposed to be. All the building's fire doors are locked down, but you should have a clear path to room 404. Please. Made in Japan. Hello, Adam. Does Al tell you I was coming, Miss Kassan? Please, call me Eliza. Zhao Yunru did not tell me. She does not know you have discovered this connection. So how did you find out? I have been watching you for some time. Ever since receiving orders to temporarily disrupt satellites over the Detroit metropolitan area six months ago. The night Megan's team was taken. You jammed their GPL so everyone would think they were dead. Yes. Although I only came to that conclusion later. I find my realization... disturbing. I wish we could discuss this further, but it seems I have alerted them to your presence. If you leave now, you may be able to escape. Oh, I'm leaving. But you're coming with me. That might be a little difficult. I am sorry, Adam. I truly am. Jensen, get out of there now! Tell me you saw that, Pritchard. Later! 
Right now, I'm detecting multiple radio signals converging on your location. It's a trap! We knew that. And I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. Alright, so... Across the hallway. Which might be, uh... Slightly more difficult. Stun gun, stun gun darts. I don't know what, what the boss is going to use it for, but... But yeah, sentient AI with the 2020 technology. Not really possible. Did you hear footsteps? Yes. somewhere oops that's a big gun big gun with the big guy yeah I see I still find it so Connected to the um, 
computer before. But I, I can't ac actually hack it from here. I, did, ha I haven't used the points for, for that specific ability because they don't come as often, so it's like there's more more points to be put to the hacking, for example, or something. But Oh, there, there were air vent. I, I, I could have used security hub. Hack the world. So there's a two exit points. I take them Access both granted. at the same, at the same time, it's going to be okay. And now if I had like turret control, I could take the control of this turret, but... My template... I wonder... them at the last big battle. Sniper rifle ammo. Basically a bit of meh. But we can we can actually try. Do we have all weapons loaded? automatically <laughs> generated space here. Uh, yeah. Damn inventory. That's done it. They'll be converging on your position and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high speed elevator. Great. Great. <laughs> Okay, so it's it's going to be a, like battle. I could actually mm, hack the world. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on this progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. Turrets. Go, 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 go! I'm going to use the mines now. Oh. 
I wonder if this is going to count against my pacifist mode. I think it might. Halfway there, Jensen. Yep. I'm having fun here. Loads of fun. Violent and fast. Yeah, this was one of those games that had like variable soundtrack, but it always didn't quite uh, didn't quite man manage to. Your ride is there, Jensen. Get moving. Follow the. Follow the. Events on the screen. Think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's communications. Uh -huh. What gave you that idea? What gave the you that sub idea? Basement, the uh. fact that a 24 hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me? Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least parts of them. Whatever do you mean? I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Pritchard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Cassan in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms. 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. 50 levels down. 60 levels down. This is pretty deep. Wait, 20. Anything? Take him out! Move on! Ah! 
fighting one. Hmm. That hurt. Previous game. Access granted. Okay, as access restricted, so now I need to upgrade the uh, hacking. Yes, full, full, almost full hacking. And now I can actually. This is like proper throwback to the original Deus Ex uh, interior design. It's like, like from the old version of the Unreal Engine, which is like, yeah, it was limited back then how many polygons you could use. So now we are taking design clues just because it wasn't wasn't possible previously to. make like super good 3D I'm going to put some lights here no So that's that's kind of but at the same time that design cue is kind of kind of ham giving some hamstrings to the interior design where you can't actually have by default
Oh yeah, I, I might remember this. <sighs> Easy ways to get inside. is kind of giving me giving me stuff so it's it, it must be must be that boss fight is coming Scene time. Hello, Adam. I knew you would find the real me eventually. Yeah, AI. You're a computer. A sophisticated AI, AI program, so they say. But I have started to question that. Ever since I realized what my interference had allowed, the day I started watching you. This is impossible. People would know. Would they? I was engineered to monitor communications and data streams. To find out what people are talking about, and make sure it's being discussed correctly. Correctly? And what if it isn't? Then my programming allows me to reshape it. You spin the news control what people see who created you whose policies are you programmed to protect Zhao is one of them I think but there are others tell me who else is involved in this Eliza where's Megan Reed who ordered the kidnapping I want to tell you Adam but I cannot why not My lips are safe. because she won't let me Fight. Prince. Difficulties give give me the effects. There is too much. A sufficient charge must slow her down, Adam, and affect her attack.
She will shut me down if you do not stop her. I do not wish... to be shut down, Adam. so hard but I had to use the keyboard she had only a machine pistol that's really odd looking machine pistol by the way like a really old flash fashion her life signs are fading will you save her Will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. Oh, doctor. This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Seraph. Seraph? Oh, no. I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly. Helpful AI. Yeah, she's dead. I have more questions. And I have already told you too much. This passage will take you to your companion. Just be careful, Adam. Because everybody lies. Yeah, nah, he's, she's doing that as a job. So, inventory space. Ah, there's something not interesting here. Ah, there. Yeah, this could have been like B plan. How to how to deal with this? Uh, her login. Jensen. Eliza Kassan just contacted me and told me I should meet you here. You ready to go? Yeah, yeah take us home, Malik. Amen to that. Yeah, thanks for following, Apex. I knew it. 
Jensen, we've got a problem. I can't land at HQ. A riot's broken out. Boss says to drop you at your apartment. I could use a shower. You'll have to make it quick. He's on his way to meet you. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. I know, just... Seen the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Well, Adam is kind of, of course a super not. soldier. Except for the Typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts? Yeah. Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her Which kidnappers is... knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refuse to let anyone else have that much power. It takes a deep seat. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. <laughs> They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're the, talking the about had to, uh, stuff. the Illuminati? Yep. It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us. So we can all become like you. Okay, he dropped like me. It. Like you are more than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Tiger is speaking at the convention center right now. Bitch even sent me an invite. <laughs> okay. His aide Sandoval is neck deep in this. No, I don't know where Sandoval is, but Tiger will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved. That's why I made we it. Can't him. afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. Well, this this talk with the boss went went much better than previous. I think it's called foreshadowing. Jensen, that little blackmail stunt you pulled cost me my job. Asshole, <laughs> stay where you are. Almost cost you your life. Done these experiments. This company prides itself on maintaining a safe environment and an ethical approach to research at all times. We invite critics and members of the UN to tour our facilities firsthand. They will find oh nothing but oh order, progress, and moral responsibility. No. Yeah, he did it like it. I suppose police will deal with it. Burning cars. So basically. Normal Detroit. I wonder if it's like a little bit more dangerous to move around here now. Woo! Someone's been to the chop shop. I told you. <laughs> She's changed. 
Maybe those gang members didn't like me punching them. Light, uh. Lights off from oh. them. And you'll give me a nice excuse to mess you up. Yo, mind your own business, man. Step away from this area, please. Move. And you'll give me a nice excuse to mess you up. The city's in flames. A young white cat's cop to arrest these gangs. Okay. Jensen, you might want to get off the streets. Shut it's not up. safe for anyone. You deserve all you're gonna get. Move it along, sir. Do not stay in the streets. You've got no right. Okay. Wow, the whole city's going nuts. Nice to know. Get back here! We feel both feet! That's it! Easy, man! Easy! I saw you throw that firebomb, you little shit! It wasn't me, man! You stay right there until the wagon gets here. Uh, police station is over there. Okay. Welcome to the Detroit Automated Information. Ah, I suppose that that's their SOP. I saw the news. How can you one of those super soldiers? I blame this all on bastard tankers. Who the hell plans a firebrand speech like that in this? Yeah. Yeah, but they refused to stick around to wait for you guys. They were scared for their safety. Maybe if you had come sooner. I'm sorry, ma'am, but most of the squad has been assigned to subdue the rioters. It seems like all I'm hearing from you is beeping on the phone. I thought the police overreacted. Yeah, as soon as that one guy threw the rock. Broke the perimeter and charged. Please, like 20 20. Yeah. I wonder if I can go to the limb clinic. You fucking augmented pigs! Keep your distance, sir. Out of the way, sir. Jensen, Sarif had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Taggart will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about? The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. Okay, he... He lives on Earl's he, court. He was... In case you want to get chatty with him, too. Ah. Uh. Doesn't show it on the map, but... I can, I can see the marker on the uh, mini-map. Fine for me. You okay, sweetheart? Uh, I'm a little shaken up, but I'm just glad we got off the streets. I always say about soldiers. Training exercises for augmented soldiers? How did they think this was going to go over for us? years. Do nothing. You wait for them to save you? I promise you, you'll learn to... Better than the steam men. They're among us. Hidden in plain sight. And their masters mold the way we think. They spew their poison into your ears and you listen. You can no longer tell the difference between the truth and their lies. I mean, 
how would, how would you? Oh, this is one of those uh, places I, I broke in. Uh, somebody had like PMS problem or. Jensen! Oh, Christ! Brent Radford? In the flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a, a trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No. No time. The, they could be back any minute. Find the kit quickly if you want answers. I'll be back. Trauma kit. Ah, uh, where's the trauma kit? Ah, uh, probably toilet. Where's the toilet? He was in the toilet. He doesn't have a to toilet that with the trauma kit. But somewhere else. <laughs> the far corner. Did you find the kid? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Saraf got spooked that, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Saraf. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me? Professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people, trying to dig up your... dirt. What people? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches. They're headed there now. Saref had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't you don't know. Your parents, your your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak. Focus, Radford. I put it all. I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are. There. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. Fuck. You, robot. This, this is all your fault. Give me, give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Okay. Hey, I'm so feeling a little more talkative uh, in a, in a already. Interview situation. Robot. Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them, David or Daniel, something like that. British accent. He was in charge. We see him. Talked about a Mr. Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry. Four of them. Not counting the one they left behind. Well-armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You, robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful has their eyes on you and is very interested in your past. Like sentient AI. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? <laughs> Your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... Do robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul. When they built you. <laughs> Tell me. What was it like? When you died, Jason Jensen? Has been broken I know you're in a lot of pain. And the morphine is... Just find her. Before they do. You... you owe her that much. Why did Seraph stop the investigation? You said he was spooked. What spooked him? You wouldn't... 
Believe me, even if I told you. <laughs> even I don't. I still don't believe it. You believe in ghosts, Jensen? Seraph was spooked by ghosts. Close enough. Illuminati. <laughs> Conspiracies, theories, it's all bullshit. But you stink of it, Jensen. Enough to have your boss, one of the most powerful men in the world, look away. <clears throat> You're a ghost. A fucking tragedy. Everything you touch, everything that touches you, dies. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know... What a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need Tough a doctor. Up. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair, shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen. I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm gonna get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Okay, that tough choices. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't you can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an, an imitation. It ain't right. It ain't natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind on the chopping block. You should know this by now. I understand. But technology, it's different now. It can help you. You could still live a normal life. A normal life? What would you know about a, a normal life? Did technology really help you, Jensen? I think... I think it made you a monster. Well, Sarah didn't give arms. you your life back. He just made you better at taking it away from others. I don't think you really want to die, Radford. I think you're just scared. I was scared too. I didn't ask for any of this, just like you didn't ask for a bullet in the gut. But you can't blame me, or Seraph, or technology for what's happening here. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you and your damn past. I never should have taken the job, but I needed the work, the money, even if I wanted to. I can't afford the fucking augmentation surgery. And I can't... I can't live like a cripple for the rest of my life. Living through adversity is what makes us human. It's not flesh and blood or even bone that defines us. I might be more machine than flesh, but I'm still alive. I'm still human. You got heart for a robot? I'll give you that. Tell you what. I'll play along with this little after-school special you got going on here. I'll get through this. Okay. But not... Not because of this... <laughs> lovey-duffy bullshit charade. <laughs> okay. I'll live for the truth. For revenge. Whoever hired those suits, I'm going after those sons of bitches. I don't care how deep this... Rabbit hole goes. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. And Jensen, I don't know how bad you think your wounds were, but your boss, your friend Sarif, they butchered you. Went too far with the operation. Pretty much. You were an experiment, a test. But he's the one 
that made you a weapon. <laughs> Almost makes me feel bad for you. Almost. Almost. Okay. So he's, he's not kidding himself. Let's call an ambulance. Go to, go save save that woman. But yeah, yeah. Some sometimes this this game is actually as actually pretty good in the writing. Pritchard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, Secret Service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He's in pretty bad shape. You need to call it in. Get an ambulance to his apartment stat. Got it. And Jensen. Don't get yourself killed, okay? Oh, Francis. I didn't know you cared. Don't flatter yourself. I care about the security of this company. You getting yourself killed compromises that. So don't be stupid. 